Hi everyone, I'm Acting Pilot Officer McLaughlin and today I'm going to be taking you through our uniform sizing uh, form. So when you first join the, the Air Cadets, you will be given one of these forms so that you can fill in all of your measurements so we can find you a uniform that fits you as best as possible. So to measure yourself, you are going to need a tape measure um, and for some of the measurements you will need an other person to help you as well. So the very first measure that, measurement that we've got is your height and you will definitely need someone else to help you with this. The easiest way to measure your height is to stand against the wall and make sure you're standing up nice and tall against the wall and you can get the other person to measure from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. Make sure that you've got no shoes on as well so you're not adding extra height with heels or thick soles. Okay, so I know my height, um, which is lucky for this because I don't have someone else helping me just now. The next measurement we've got is our head measurement. So this will be for your berry. And we want to measure our head um, as straight as possible when you put the tape measure around your head. The best way to measure your head is to actually be looking in a mirror so that you can see what you're doing. So I think the tape measure is, is straight enough. I want to as well make sure that the tape measure is about a thumb or the top of my thumb away from my eyebrow. So from what I can feel, the tape measure is actually a little bit too low. So if I jiggle it up a little bit, and I can feel the tape measure now. So if you can see, the, the top part of my thumb is between my eyebrow and the tape measure. And I want to make sure that that is straight all the way around. And I'm just going to take that measurement from where the tape measure begins. Our next measurement is our neck and this will be for your shirt, your collar size. So you want to put it around your neck. Um, on the descriptions here it says measure horizontally around the fullest part of your neck. So I just want to place it gently, I don't want to be pulling it too tight or anything like that. For your neck what I actually recommend is to take the measurement with it touching your skin about there to where the tape measure begins and then I'm going to move my fingers down ever so slightly just to give myself an extra little bit of room so that when I do my top button up my collar is not constricting me. I don't want it to be too tight on my neck. <clears throat> okay, so the next measurement we've got is our chest. So in our description, it says measure around the fullest part of your chest. So you want to take it under your arms and you want to make sure again that the tape measure is level all the way around. You don't want the back to be hanging down or you don't want the front to be hanging down because you've moved it to, to read what the tape measure says. So you want to make sure it's nice and straight all the way around. And we take our measurement there. Then we've got our waist measurement. So around the body, your waist is the slimmest part of your torso. So it is above your hips and it's usually in line with your, um, your belly button. So you want to pull it around here. And there we go. Then we've got our seat measurement. So in our descriptor, you're measuring around the fullest part of your bottom. Again, I want to make sure that it's nice and even around where it's telling me to measure. if you wish to wear a skirt. So first our hips, 
So these nice big bony bits there, that's your hips. You want to put it all the way around. Again, making sure that it's even all the way around. It's not dropping down or slipped down at one side. And then we have our waist to knee measurement. This is another measurement where it would be useful to have another person. So you want to hold the top of the tape measure where you measured your waist, so that um, jutting in bit of your, of your torso. You want to hold that nice and straight there, and then preferably the other person is going to go down towards your knee and take the measurement from the middle of your knee. Obviously I'm just by myself, so what I'm going to do, and if you're by yourself you can do this as well, I'm going to hold the tape measure at my waist, and I'm going to run my fingers down and keep it in place so when I bend down, I know that that measurement is still going to be uh, where I need it to be. And then I'm just going to pull it down and then I'm going to measure roughly in the middle of my kneecap. And then the last measurement we have is your inside leg. So our descriptor here is measure from the top of your inside leg to your ankle. So not to the floor and not above your ankle. It's right in the sort of middle of your ankle where you'd like your trousers to sit. Okay. So middle of the inside leg. Again, this would be useful to have another person help you with this. So you can hold it here and someone else can check your measurement down at your ankle. But I'm just going to do the same as I did for the waist to knee measurement. I'm going to run my finger down, make sure I'm holding it in the right place. I want to stand like that as if, um, so I can get a nice straight measurement all the way down. And I'm going to take that measurement just in the middle of my ankle bone. Okay, so hopefully this video has helped you to be able to take your own measurements. Obviously for some of them you might need help from someone else, um, but hopefully when it comes to filling out your form, all your measurements will be correct and you will get uniform that fits you correctly. Thanks for watching. Bye!